Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we're going to learn the difference between the on activate and on got focus events, as well as the on deactivate and on lost focus events in your Microsoft Access database. Anything dealing with events is usually going to be a developer level video. What that means is that you're going to need to know a little VBA. If you haven't learned how to program in VBA yet, it's easy. Don't worry about it. You can just go watch this video. It's about 20 minutes long. It teaches you everything you need to know. All right. So yesterday I released this video called on activate and it explains how to use the on activate event so that when you switch to a different form or you open a form, the activate event fires and you can do stuff with that form, which is opposed to the on got focus event. The on got focus event is better if you want to have an event that runs when you switch to a different control, like when a text box gets the focus or a button gets the focus or a checkbox or any control on the form. So if you want the event to fire when the form itself gets focus, let's call it right when it's activated, use the on activate or on deactivate events, right? When you switch to or switch away from it. If you're dealing with individual controls on a form, then you want to use on got focus and on lost focus. Watch both of those videos for more information on how each of those work. Now, a common question I always get is why is there an on got focus event for the form itself if it doesn't work? All right, there's an on, where are you? On got focus right here for the form. If you double click here, you on the forms properties, here's on got focus. Okay, if I put something in here, right? Message box, got focus, save it, close it, close it, open it, nothing happens. Okay, why is that? Well, the on got focus event in forms, A, it was included for backward compatibility because years and years and years ago, there wasn't an on activate event. You had to use, oh, someone's beaming in. You had to use on got focus. Okay. So that feature was kind of depreciated in newer versions of access when they added on activate. Where's on activate? Activates right down here. All right. So we'll put in here message box activate. Wonder twin powers, right? And if I close this and then I open it back up again, there's activate and the got focus still doesn't run. Now, here's the kicker on got focus will still fire if and only if none of the controls on the form are in your tab stop in other words if the focus can't go to a control right normally when you open up a form the first field in the tab order gets the focus right here's my tab order All right customer id starts off okay if this form has no objects or it has no objects that are tab stops then that event will run don't believe me, watch this. Let me save this. Let me copy the customer form. Copy, paste. All right, here's copy of customer form. Now I'm gonna open up this customer form. Activate still runs, right? I'm gonna delete everything on here. All right, delete them all. Save it, close it, open it back up again. There's activate and there's a got focus. Oh, it still runs. Why? Because the form itself got the focus because it can't give focus to one of its own controls. All right, the same thing will happen also if you have a field on here, let me put first name back on here. Okay, and now if I close it and open it, there's activate, focus didn't run, got focus didn't run. But if I now take this guy and make it not a tab stop, okay, it's now not a tab stop, and guess what? Activate, got focus runs again. It's weird, I know, and it, yet it still gets the focus. Uh, yeah, I can't explain it. It's one of those quirky access behaviors that it's just, it, it was added for backward, for, as far as I can tell, I'm not on the access development team, so I don't know. But as far as I can tell, it was added for backward compatibility from years back, because there might still be some applications out there that were built with access 2003, I don't know, that still use that function. 
But for, for modern day developers, you, you really are never going to use it. You're going to use activate for forms and, and got focus for controls. Okay. Okay. This, this, this is something I always get asked. I know it's coming because I just did the activate video yesterday and my developer classes, people always ask this question. So I figured I'd hit you with it. All right. That's all for today, folks. Short class for today. If you like this kind of stuff and you want to learn more VBA programming with me, come and check out my developer lessons. There's a link. You'll find all kinds of different stuff. I think I, I just released 44. So I've got lots and lots of stuff on there. But there's your quick tech help video for today, a Friday. So we're going to keep it short today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward, <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. 
Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.